hey family welcome and welcome into my channel okay um divine golden master this is divine let's tap right in okay so automatically from the title i know some people may be shook up all right so i want to give you guys a little disclaimer okay i want to give you a disclaimer and i want to let you know that if you think this is blasphemy and evil and satanic and demonic and you know devilish and all that it is it is okay it is and i want you guys to i'm gonna break down the philosophy and the science on exactly what that is okay because so often are we fed these things that we take as core beliefs but what is the devil really what is evil really what is the science behind this because if we take out okay christianity and religion and you say okay well i don't believe in that right because a lot of society, you know, we have the parts of society that people are not religious and things like that. And they don't uh, go by religious backgrounds, but they follow the law. And the law was created from what? Christianity. Uh, politics, economics, basis are Christianity. So we're going to break down these terms and um we're going to talk about breaking free from the program of christianity and basically when i say program program a program is when i'm saying it as we're using it today right you know you turn on the television the television tell a vision telling you a vision you may click on a program, right? We used to call TV shows and things like that programs, the network or whatever. And each program has a certain type of things that they play, right? Okay, so when I'm talking about programs, I mean in our life. So if we use that metaphor of life being the TV and life is trying to tell us a vision to have to give us the vision to create and we have different programs one of them is religion okay so specifically we're going to be talking about christianity but religion is a program as well and then we have the social media program and like i was talking about earlier on Instagram live about even spirituality now like people have made spirituality almost like a religion now and it's just like it's become a program in a way okay so um I want you guys to always critically think okay this the goal of this video is to get you to dive deeper than the surface dive deeper than what's given and to critically think for yourself and to be able to use your own judgment okay and ultimately remove all the confusion and all the stipulation and all the end of windows this is why i titled this video this because i want to eliminate the shock value because even language is a program okay even language our english language is a program because if you go somewhere else on another country than yours and you speak your language and they speak something else it means nothing if you curse someone out and they don't know what you're saying because they speak another language nothing happens right they just look at you like they confused 
but in our society and you and you in your society whatever you curse somebody out it turns into a whole other situation right so even language and even just especially the english language um it's a lot of different things that are being used that people don't even realize okay so uh, we're not going to go into deep uh, other things right now. We're specifically talking about breaking free from the Christianity program because to me, it is one of the biggest ones. The three major programs I already told you guys about. And um, I feel like those are the three major ones. Okay. And I will be, this kind of will be an ongoing type of thing. Um but yeah, so this is not just the end all be all. This is the first video about specific, like specifically what programs are existing, right? And um, breaking down some of the sim uh, the symbols and decoding uh, what is actually going on here. Because if you don't take time to actually decode this, uh the mind manipulation and the programming that has been done even some people may have already clicked off this video because the mind manipulation something goes off in the mind that says uh-oh evil that's bad uh-oh the devil that's not good but let's talk about what what let's talk about it Lucifer, let's talk about it. What it, what is this? So, um, when we get into breaking free from the program of Christianity, we have to look at the word evil, right? When you look up the definition of evil, it says profoundly immoral. Okay, so what is moral, right? What's morals? Morals is what is and what is not acceptable. The principle of right and wrong, right? Now, pause. If evil is somebody who's profoundly immoral, basically someone who is not following behind a moral system, and what it, you have to question that of like, okay. Well, whose morals are these? Whose morals? Like, I didn't, I didn't sign and I didn't write no morals in that book that they call the Bible. I didn't put none in there. Did you put some in there? Did you decide on some morals for the Bible? Oh, okay, okay, I was just confused because I didn't know if we, but yet they built the whole society on a book that I don't remember agreeing that those were just the morals, right? Now, the word Satan or devil is the chief evil spirit, which the chief of not being moral. I think that pretty much describes a lot of society who is free thinkers, who are visionaries, who are people who are rebellious and wanting to live a life of freedom, spiritually, emotionally, physically, not wanting to be stuck to a standard of whose standard is this that we're just blindly following because it's moral, right? Because they say so. Because they say we should. Because, oh, they've been doing it this long. So, my bad, y'all. But uh, I dropped the mic. Drop the mic. That's it. That was just way. <laughs> but because, oh, because they say so. Or because they tell us that, oh, this is right. And even when you think about for black people, We never really had like what we was forced we was forced to fed the Bible. 
And then it just became something that was just like, okay, they did it, so they did it, so my mama did it, and now I'm doing it, and what's going on here? Nobody's, you know, nobody's really, even like I told y'all not too long ago in that video um, on my other, I had started a new channel, y'all, I think it's in, it should be in the description box, but on my other channel, when I was talking about I was asking my mom, showing her different things about the quantum fields and things like that. And literally, like, it's like something that goes off in their mind that tells them that, oh, it's blasphemous. Oh, if it's not about, if it's not about God, I can't look at, like, it's literally like some type of, like, people who are strong on that mind manipulation, who are really in that manipulated state, it's like they don't hear past. It's just like, I don't even know. <laughs> it's just like they shut down. Like, they subconscious just go, just like, oh, hell no. No, no. It's the evil. It's the demon. It's the demon. It's this. You're this. You're that. And it goes into this fight or flight mode. And it really be sad when you see people because people really are just deeply brainwashed. And even, like, people who are spiritual. And it's just like. Have you done any type of research that you still holding on to this? Okay. And you got to admit that it's very powerful because for it to be, you know, Christianity is as big as it is, but even just the government, like think about even the fact that they're in on it too. Like, it's just like, so, granted, yes, it could be very intimidating and it could be very, um, like, you know, very much, let me get in line so I don't have any issues. You know what I'm saying? Like, it definitely gives them vibes of, like, let me just fall in line so I don't have to have no backlash because, like, and tell me, like, tell me, y'all don't be feeling it. Like, it'd be that heavy energy of, like, and then what they put on the movies and the shows and okay. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Now, it's important that you realize that nothing works for you unless you convince your subconscious mind. So Nothing works for you unless you convince your subconscious mind. So think about the fact that since a child, even if you weren't born into a religious household, you were born into this society or wherever society you're at. And if you're in America with me, our society is built on this religion. And if you don't do this, you go to jail. If you don't do that, you just, you know what I'm saying? So, and what a lot of people don't even know is like, even like ancient Kim and things like that, they didn't have jails. And you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, do your research. I'm not going to go, I don't want to get too off topic, but when you look at this society and what it's built on and how it works and how it really functions, when you take a look outside perspective, bigger view perspective, and use critical thinking of, my ear ringing and use critical thinking of what is going on here you start to shift and you'll be like mm, I don't know about that okay and that's another thing that's happening right now collectively which is um it's an initiation, right? And some people are going back to the church. Some people are finding their spiritual awakening. But it's a need for us to realize, like, we're the gods. But if you don't realize that you're the god, then you go back down and you go to pray to another god. And worshiping any other god than yourself is to worship a god inferior to yourself. Because... What? Make it make sense, right? Think about it. 
Just think about it. Now, for example, about the subconscious mind, nothing works for you unless you unless you convince your subconscious mind. For example, people heal their disease because they convince their subconscious mind it's possible. Now, I know y'all have seen all that, the law of attraction and being able to heal yourself, being able to attract whatever, whatever the case may be. It's because those people have been able to convince their subconscious mind that it's possible. That's why they tell you, be careful of what you're watching, what you're intaking. Um, listen to these frequencies. Do this, do that, because it will put you in the vibrational alignment to be able to actually have it stick to your subconscious mind, and therefore it can manifest because you believe it, right? But if you don't really believe it, just like if you're trying to manifest anything, you wonder why it's not happening because you really don't truly believe it within your subconscious mind. You have some type of block, whether it be an abundance block, whether it be whatever it is, you may have some type of blockage, right? So like I was saying, worshiping any other God other than yourself is to worship a God inferior to yourself, okay? These gods only exist because of you and your thought. All right? The all is mine. These other gods are only existing because of you and your thought. And you're giving them power, right? Even in the Bible, it says God lives through you. So without you, there is no God. But you created, so you are the God. Did you hear me, though? God lives through you. So the Bible says God lives through you. So without it, without your energy, without your thought form, there is no God. Now, that may be, that may go over a lot of people's head because first you have to be able to radically understand that separation is an illusion. This 3D realm is an illusion. You have to really, you have to understand that first. So if you are struggling to gain my concept and my drift in this video, focus on understanding what is the 3D realm really. What is this really? Okay. And as you go through different periods of awakening and pulling the veil back on the truth of things, you'll start to see what's really going on. You'll start to feel what's really, you. it will be undeniable, but first you have to and it takes time too. So if you find yourself where it's hard for you to grasp these concepts, you know, it's a program. It's a subconscious thing. It's something that we're breaking free from in the subconscious, right? So, you know, be patient with yourself. But um, yeah, so the all is mine. Okay. Remember that. Keep that in mind. And, um, like, especially to just use the example of manifestation, like literally use the example of manifestation. And if you've never manifested anything in your life that you actually tried to think about a, a negative thing that you've manifested, because everybody has manifested something in their life. Okay. So if you feel like you ain't, you just like, I've never got anything I'll try to manifest. I bet you manifested some negative things that you thought about and you couldn't stop thinking about and it manifested. Think about that. Okay. Uh, my eye, y'all. What's going on? Okay. Now, um, even with Christianity, Christianity subconsciously uh, makes you feel like you have to be saved. Right? Because that's what they say. Be born again. Be saved. What am I being saved from? Like, like, what? Like, what am I, what am I being saved from?
who's saving me? <laughs> like, what is going on? <laughs> like, once again, telling you to go outside yourself. What am I being saved from? What am I being born again into? Like, don't just take stuff. Do your research. Um, also, too, when you look at um, the word Lucifer, the word Lucifer actually breaks down to light. It means light bringer. Okay. And it means, no, it means. Ooh, excuse me. Pine- uh, pineal gland or your third eye, basically. But even through scripture, when you translate it through scripture, also it means light bringer. Well, okay. Hmm. So sit with that. And um, in the beginning, where did it say the light came from? Darkness. Okay. And Luke 10, 18 says, I behold Satan as lightning falling from heaven. So when you start to really analyze it and you look at it and you're like, okay. This is kind of seeming like, you know, it doesn't seem like something so much as it's some random God in the sky and all this other stuff. It's more so of, it's in fact symbolic archetypes, which describes something more so about our day-to-day lives. Even just like it says. Uh, you are gods, yay are gods, or whatever the case may be. I don't know what scripture that is, but Google it. Okay, tells you in the scripture you are God. I just told you what the other scripture God lives through you. So think about two of, and you know, y'all going to do y'all research about history and things like that, um, and the Anunnaki and all of that. Do your research because just like we say we are gods, and just like they say that God, uh, he, uh, Satan as lightning and falling from heaven. Think about that. We're gods, they're gods, but they're not in human form. So, who really has the power? Okay, so two, and it's another thing too where um, astral planes are thinking about that. That's that's a that's a realm. That's a that's something that was created. You know what I'm saying? And when you think about that too, it's like you're keeping them alive. Okay, you're keeping this God alive, or whatever religion it is, you're keeping that alive within that realm. Okay. And that's very powerful because when you really look at who holds the power in that situation and who's really the God in that situation, and you critically think you will start to see, okay, all right, maybe, maybe, maybe I am a God. Maybe, maybe it is me. Is it me? It may be it is, right? And all the um I just posted a video about transmutation, but all of the programming that they put on you from TV. Pro- oh, excuse me, from TV, from just everyday society, mark <gasps> excuse me, y'all. Goodness, from marketing to um social media. It's everything wanting you to think that the power is outside of you when in actuality you are the power. We need not to go outside ourselves for anything, literally. All right. Um, 
And back to that scripture where it says, uh, Lucifer, light, uh, I, I behold Satan is lightning falling from the sky. He's a light bringer. Okay. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Matthew 6, 22. So, what y'all think they're talking about right there? The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, the, the whole body shall be full of light. Decode that. What do you think they're talking about? The key to spirituality and spiritual awakening is the third eye. Why do you think when they're praying and they're praying over you, they hold their hand over your eye, your third eye? They anoint your third eye with oil and they hold their hand over it. And if you know anything about hands, if you know, like, you got to break this stuff down. Because that's what I'm not going to do is break down every little thing for you guys. Because I want you to, yes, I could tell you all day. But that's cool. You know, I may strike an awakening or whatever. But I want you to get it out the mud for yourself. Figure it out for yourself. Because even if you just go a little bit further to do the research, to look up. Because that's what it takes to continue to be able to. Because it's like the energy doesn't die, it transforms. As in the programs are never going to stop. The manipulation, the mind manipulation is never going to just stop. That's why, too, a lot of people, when they get to a point of enlightenment, where they think that they just want peace on earth and things like that, it don't work like that. Because everybody's playing a role. You feel me? Everybody has a job. Everybody don't have a soul. Everybody ain't come here. You know what I'm saying? And then even then, everybody's not on the same level. Right? Spiritually. Everybody's not on the same level. So you really have to get it for yourself. Okay? Um, And... Also, too, it's like, think about this. They got clones. They got bots and all this. Like, some of y'all, y'all may be like, she crazy. That's crazy. I don't know what. Da, 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 da. But they've been talking about this since 90, 80. They've been, and who knows even before that of what's not recorded, right? But people have been talking about this. And it's not no coincidence that now y'all got these robots and all this. Y'all just now showing us. You feel me? Y'all just now showing us. And it's like, it's a form of manipulation, right? Because just to exercise the thought of the actual real robots that they have, right? Think about that. Like, like, Seriously, think about that. Imagine you on the street, you walking your dog or something, and a robot dog run up on y'all, and it scans you or something. And next thing you know, these like it's just like, <laughs> cause what the fuck? Like, this is where we. This is this three D reality. Okay, so. It's a need to be able to decipher and decode things and not to be so, I hate using the word lazy, but I don't have a better word for it because it's a form of laziness to not want to critically think, you know, to just 
hey, you know what? I'm getting by. It's cool. And you know, and that's me. I, I won't pass any judgment because at the end of the day, like I said, everybody, everybody is not meant to do the same things. Everybody's not meant to wake up. Um, but understand that too. Like even when you go around people who are, like even when you go around people who are maybe very Christian or who may be very much whatever they are, whatever program they're in, you will notice the difference between the realm. Like you will have to, for lack of a better term, dumb down or suppress your gifts or your You know what I'm saying? Like, if y'all feel me, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. But you'll notice around people who are overly mind manipulated and who are under programs where it's like you can only really have certain conversations with them. They don't talk about certain things or it goes over their head or they get quiet or they get defensive or because they're not really there, in my opinion. And it's so many times that, like, we just been in the society trying to get through, make it through, survive. But now it's like, it's a time to thrive right now. So with that being said, why, why would I go and be a, and be a Christian and, and pray every, and do all this when I could manifest this reality? I could think about this and it could happen. I could realize my worth and everything will will fall in line. But it's the it's the scarcity thought that maybe it won't happen for me or may that is that is the sense of programming of I'm used to doing something this way, so I'm scared or I'm fearful to try it this way because I don't know what's going to happen. Anything that we've never done before can be fearful, okay? But understand what fear really is. False evidence appearing real. You just don't know. It's just a lack of knowing. You don't know. But that's like with a lot of things. When you went on your first day, when you went on your first day as a job or your first day of school or whatever you're doing, you have a fear. You don't know how it's going to turn out. But most times it turned out, you good. You right here watching this video. So I challenge you guys to look at this program or any program that you may be around or in or whatever, or even if you grew up in a Christian household and you're having blocks and things like that, unpack the program, unpack the program. Okay. Um, Also to y'all. The Baphomet. The picture that they show us that's supposed to be like Satan. That's the goat thing. It's supposed to be like Satan and the devil. But it's really the Baphomet. And was really a god. One of the first gods. Or the healthcare symbol. Look into these things. Decode this, these things. Or 666, when that's, y'all trying to make that seem like it's a negative, but, hmm, that has a lot to do with melanated people. Or the darkness, and the melanin is what the darkness comes from, so, or the downplay on women when we're the creators. We have cosmic energy within us. Even the word Jew comes from the word jewel, which is another word 
for melanin. Hmm. And even also the Baphomet. Also, um, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, it's the symbol where he's doing, he's like this, and it's like the devil image. Even Beyonce, I think, did a pose like this, and everybody was like, oh, she's so demonic. <laughs> Posing is the Baphomet, a god. But, oh, the United States took it and religion took it and said that it's evil and it's Satan. So we believed it. Look at the dates on that. Go look that deity up. Baphomet. B-A-P-H-O-M-E-T. Which is another word for wisdom. So... This is all I have for this specific video. I will be posting um, another video um, very soon. Okay, we're going to talk about these programs. We're going to talk, definitely talk about this one again because this is one of the biggest ones, especially since the American society is based on Christianity. But we will be breaking down a lot of different programs and systems and really just unpacking the mind control and different and decoding these different barriers and obstacles that a lot of times these things are sitting in front of us like so much uh symbolism and different things are already around us that we don't even realize it and how we don't even realize how it's set up to form a thought form to make us think like this or manipulate our mind to form these thought forms that can be very debilitating and keep us at a certain frequency and a certain vibration to where we never really evolve or we really never grow or we really never hit a certain level because of this mind control or because of this programming and this division. It's like the race uh, mind control program. Okay, so I love you guys. Let me know. Comment down in the comments, okay? I love y'all. If this helped you, send me an energy donation by liking this video, commenting, or if you want to sow a seed to the channel, go ahead. My PayPal and my Cash App will be down below as well. And I just want to say, I thank you for being here. I thank you for being a visionary being a person who is willing to go against the odds for a greater purpose realizing who you really are realizing the god you are or the goddess that you are and taking the initiative to want to elevate your life and wanting to really push your life forward in a positive way and not just yours but you are doing this for a collective and yeah you may feel isolated or you may feel singled out if you resonate with this message but it's because you're the change you're the difference you're vital you're needed and you're important in today's society okay so i just thank you for having the courage to be who you are today I love you guys. Love yourself.